Hi everybody, today I'm presenting my latest LEGO Technic gadget and that is a modular binary counter. So basically what this is, is a counter that can count the number of revolutions of an axle. Um, and we just turn this handle over here and it starts counting the digits. Now the only drawback of this counter is you have to know binary. So binary is a uh, number representation that computers use. So for example in a normal decimal system we use uh, the digits from 0 to 9 to represent numbers. In the case of binary, we just use 0 and 1. So for example here, um, we've got the number 1001, and normally in decimal, these are the 1s, these are the 10s, these are the 100s. In the case of binary, these are the 1s, these are the 2s, these are the 4s, these are the 8s, etc. They're all powers of 2. So in this case here, this is 8, and this is 1, so this number here is 9. Right, so the way this gadget works, we've got these uh, reels here at the bottom. Each of these has got four sides, and we've got uh, something that I've recently learnt from someone else who commented on one of my videos. It's kind of this micro stepper idea. Um, it's a very clever idea. It's something I wouldn't have thought of myself. What this forces the axle to be is to be in one of four different positions, so basically the different 90 degree angles. And it kind of does that with these rubber bands that um, they've got little axles that are working on this component here and as you turn it, it it just kind of clicks into position and only allows one of four different angles so 90 degrees 180 270 and 360 uh, and that allows the, uh, the numbers to click over nicely like that so I'll just show you around the back so on the inside of the gadget we have got these components here which um, are the carry bits so as we rotate the main reel you can see the red component coming around that every time the first reel turns around one revolution it pushes the next one over by one quarter, so by 90 degrees and it allows the device to uh, work correctly and count upwards now because the counter has got the two reels of four sides each that makes 16 combinations, so 4 times 4 and that allows us to count up to 16, so as we uh, reach the number here, 15 we'll click over back to 0, now of course if you think 16 is not enough what I've done is made this a modular design, so what that means is we can add another module like this, which is essentially the same thing, and click it on and connect it together like this. And now we've got a counter that can count 16 times 16, so it can count to 256. So we can just rotate that like that, and you can see that now is clicking over the next reel. Now if counting to 256 is still not enough, it's just simply a matter of adding another module. So I've got another one over here, and we can click that on to the end of this one. And now we've got a counter that can count to 4096, which is 2 to the power of uh, 12, because we've now got 12 binary digits, so 2 to the power of 12 is 4096. Now if you want to reset the timer back to zero, it's a, at this stage it's a manual process, you pretty much have to turn each of the reels back to zero using these uh, controls at the top. Um, I haven't thought of a way to do this automatically yet with a, a single part, but uh, if you've got some ideas on how to do that, just leave some comments and it'll be much appreciated. Right, so I'm going to put my counter to good use. So what I've got here is I've got my counter, I've connected a large motor, I've got a iPhone here to run in one minute, and we're going to see how many revolutions this motor does in one minute. Okay, let's, let's do it. There we have it. Okay, let's see what the number is. So it's 101101101. I'm just going to have to translate that into decimal, just one second. Okay, so I've just had a chance to look at this number. It turns out to be 365 decimal. So what that means is this motor went around 365 times in the one minute that we timed. And that is actually very close to looking up the specifications. I think that motor is rated about 380 RPM um, without any load and of course the binary counter does add some load to it uh, However, I think this is a very good result Now another thing we can try as well is that over here. We've got the the voltage that's being applied to that motor What I've got is a special uh, setup here where I've connected the battery box directly to a power supply and by turning down the voltage We can for example using the setup test to see what effect voltage has on the speed of the motor Generally speaking, it's a linear relationship, so as the voltage halves, it should uh, halve the speed. 
but I'll leave it up to you to do those experiments. Um, I hope you like this video and if you'd like to subscribe then please do so to support this channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.